Hey, welcome to solve this nice algebra problem solution from here. And what we have here, we can write this as x times x that gives us x square over 5 times 5, that's 5 squared, equals to also here 5 times 5, 5 squared, then over x times x, x squared. Then from here, we cross multiply x squared times x squared equals to here we have 5 squared times 5 squared that is also here same thing multiplying just like a times a that's give us a square here also we can write this as a square all square then equals to also 5 square all square the next step here we can take 5 square all square to the left hand side and this becomes x square all square minus 5 square all square now equals to 0 from here that is yeah this follows difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square it seems in as a plus b into bracket then open bracket a minus b that is here a same thing as x square and b standing as 5 square. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x square plus 5 squared into brackets, then also open brackets x square minus 5 squared close brackets, then equals to 0 from here. And here we have two possible cases x square plus 5 squared equals to 0 or we have x squared minus 5 squared equals to 0 then solving on this side this follows when we have a squared plus b squared which is same thing as a plus b i into brackets then also open bracket a minus b i that is here yeah, this follows this and becomes x plus 5i into bracket and open bracket x minus 5i close bracket which is equals to 0 from here that is here also we have two cases x plus 5i equals to 0 or we have x minus 5i equals to 0 here then on this side this gives us x equals to minus 5i which is a complex solution here and here we have x equals to 5i which is also a complex solution here at least we have two complex solutions now then from the second case here which is x squared minus 5 square equals to 0 yeah this also follows from Difference of two squares, that is a square minus b square equals to a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b. That is, yeah, this becomes x plus 5 into brackets, open bracket x minus 5, close bracket, equals to 0 from here. Then, also, we have two cases x plus 5 equals to 0, or we have x minus 5 equals to 0 here. And on this side, we have x equals to minus 5, which is a real solution. Also, here we have x equals to 5, also a real solution. That is, we have two real solutions here. Then all together here we have four solutions. When we write it out now, we can say x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 5, x3 from the complex we have 5i, then x4 we have minus 5i. So two real solutions and two complex solutions here. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, here we substitute the value of x here, we first value of x5 
Oh, yeah, becomes 5 over 5 times 5 over 5. Is it equals to here? We have 5 over 5, also times 5 over 5. That is, here 5 over 5, same thing as 1 times here, also 1. Is it equals to this side? We have 5 over 5, that's also 1 times 1. And here, 1 times 1, that's 1. Which is equal to also here one times one one, and we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then here x equals to five satisfy this given problem. Also here we substitute the second value of x, which is minus five, and what we have becomes minus five over five times. Minus 5 over 5 is it equals to 5 over minus 5 times 5 over minus 5? That is minus 5 over 5, same thing as minus 1 times. Here as well, we have minus 1 is equals to 5 over minus 5, same thing as minus 1 times also minus 1. Then minus times minus give us plus. One times one does one. So we have one here, which is equals to this side as well. Minus times minus plus. And one times one, one. Also left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is, x equals to minus five. Also satisfy this given problem. Then, for x equals to five i, also, what we have here becomes 5i over 5 times 5i over 5. Is it equals to 5 over 5i times 5 over 5i? And here, 5i over 5, I can write that as i times also i. Is it equals to this side, we have 1 over i times 1 over i then i times i same thing multiplying you can write that as i square is it equals to this side as well 1 times 1 that's 1 over i times i i square then since root minus 1 is same thing as i when we square both sides it means yeah i square it now be equals to minus 1. So we can replace this as minus 1. Then is it equals to here yeah, 1 over minus 1? And this is minus 1, which is the same thing as 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1. That is the left hand side. Also equals to the right hand side. That is 5i. Also satisfy this given problem. Then also for x equals to minus 5i, what we have become minus 5i over 5 times minus 5i over 5. Is it equals to 5 over minus 5i times 5 over minus 5i? Then minus 5i over 5. That's same thing as minus i times also minus i is it equals to here yeah, rise as 1 over minus i times 1 over minus i then since minus times minus that's plus i times i i square is it equals to also here we have 1 times 1 1 the minus i times minus i i square then here yeah, i square that's minus one is it equals to also one over minus one then here we have minus one which is equals to here yeah, also this is minus one that is left hand side equals to the right hand side yes here yeah, minus five i also satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment.
See you next class and bye for now.